there. So today I'm out here and it is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day. It's a perfect temperature for planting. Temperature? Temperature, yeah, that's that's a word. <laughs> Sometimes you went, do you ever say a word and you're like, that word sounds weird. Uh, anyway, temperature. It's perfect temperature for planting. It's like nice and breezy, but not too cold and just like, I don't know, just like sweatshirt weather. You know what I mean? Kind of like campfire weather. Anyway, so we are out here and we are going to take advantage of this beautiful day. Hey, October and we are going to get a bunch of plants in the ground. And when I say a bunch of plants, I in fact mean a bunch of plants. <laughs> I went and hit up a giant, amazing sale at a, at a big greenhouse uh, here in Michigan and got lots of great things. I also hit up the sale at Home Depot. They had 50% off uh, perennials, trees, and shrubs and I got um, some boxwoods and a couple hosta that I don't have already. So this is the giant pile of plants I'm going uh, to plant today and usually what I do that this late in the season is I just go ahead and I plot them in my raised garden beds. So I've got some raised garden beds that I use for vegetable and herb planting and I just go in there clean all that out and then I put the um, you know extra plants that I got late in the season on clearance usually in there to hold them over until next spring and then I can hopefully find a home for them next spring. So that's what we're going to be working on today. This is quite a few plants so I'm going to jam pack them in there and uh, hopefully I have enough room. I think I will and I'm thinking that they might actually prefer to be jam packed in together and then maybe they can like protect each other a little bit more over the winter. I don't know. We'll see. But I usually do this every year. I just don't usually do this many uh, plants. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Got a little crazy this year, but I couldn't pass up the amazing deal. So, all right, the last couple times I walked down here, a chipmunk right out in front of me. Let's see here. I think we're good. I'm gonna load up all my plants and take them down there, clean all that out, and uh, we will get them plant it up but for now I'm gonna get the gator out I haven't got the gator out in so long oh, it's gonna be so fun and we're gonna go collect all of our plants oh these plants I did the other day are doing good those runner are popping back Is my vegetable garden I just have three little raised beds here and I already put some uh, lavender in here my brother took some of it the other day these are actually three flocks that I uh, put in here too and I just haven't moved those <laughs> they're not meant to be in here just haven't had time to move them um, so I'm just going to probably uh, clump these up a little bit better so there's more room I'm gonna take out these logs Take out all those rocks over there, clean up. I'll leave the strawberries because those are perennial. And then I'm gonna get all of the uh, tomatoes off of here. So I've got some cherry tomatoes and I might even pick the green tomatoes. I like 
to fry up green tomatoes sometimes too and then we'll clean all these tomato plants out um of here i kind of feel bad doing it but i mean it's it's time and then i also have a couple squash right here i'll pick but all right let's get to cleaning this out turn my hose on and get all these plants watered up a little bit I might throw some plant tone plant tone on the soil uh, we'll see I don't really wouldn't really need to but I might just because I have it and yeah let's get them watered and get them in the ground up and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the heuchera in one bed and then um, and then pretty much the only other things I have is hasta and um, boxwood and carex and some coneflower so I'll just put those maybe I'll put like the um, carex and coneflower in with the lavender and then the boxwood and hasta in the back one I don't really know yet but um, there's, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to be moving them eventually anyway. This is just a holding spot over the winter. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so that'll do for now. I'm just gonna dig some holes and get them in the ground. Georgia peach. I had five of all those kinds and I'll go through and show you the kinds when we're all done but I have one Georgia peach I'll probably throw in along with them or somewhere else but I'm gonna put the flowering perennials in this bed with the lavender and then the boxwoods and probably the carex or maybe the boxwoods and hasta in the furthest bed um, but yeah anyway it's getting a little warm so I gotta get my hat hair tie here um, but let's keep going Married one afternoon in May, never did see the light of day on a honeymoon. We didn't have much when we started in your grandma's bed and free room. We made do. Mama 
one in my box of tags and then the other one I'll probably plant when I find a home I'll plant with it just in case I forget for some reason I'll go around and do that on all of them. I'm all done. I got everything watered in and I'm just going to take care of all my trash. I've got some pots I'm going to get rid of and then I'm going to take care of my um, uh, tomato cages and all my tools and then I'll take you back down there and show you what we planted. I feel like I have my very own like garden center to choose from come next spring. This is just a super uh, cost efficient way to plant up your garden. Um, you have to be patient, you have to wait a bit longer because um, of course you have to wait for the next season to pop around the next spring to be able to put them somewhere. But I got all these plants for a fraction of the original retail price. So I'm going to take you around and show you what I got. So in this bed I've got uh, five different kinds of hikara. These three right here are all proven winner. So that is mahogany monster And I'll show you the tag the tags here. So mahogany monster and then This lime green one here. This is called dulce apple twist So pretty I don't have that in my garden yet I'm excited about that one then this one here. I have in my garden. It's one of my favorites. It's called dulce cherry truffles and then this one right here this one is uh, one of the timeless series so this one is called very timeless this green one and it's got those really pretty uh, plumy flowers on it oh my gosh it's gonna be so pretty with the variegated leaves so 
So this one is called Very Timeless. And then this last one here is another one of the Timeless series. This is called Timeless Night. So just a deep, dark, precious little leaf. And then here's the tag. It gets those really pretty uh, blooms on it. I also have Timeless Treasure too. It, um, the leaf structure looks similar to this, except for it's variegated. Then over here, we've got three Carex, and this is just the Evercolor, Evercolor Evergold Carex. It's a really nice texture and color to brighten up any garden area. And then back here, of course, I have my lavender that I got for free off of my work cart. And then, so this one's called the Price is White Color Coded Series Echinacea. And here's the tag for that one. Then over here, I have a couple of Sun King Aurelias. I have one of these in my garden already and I wanted to add two more where it's at because I just think it looks so pretty. Here's the tag for that one. Then next to it here, we've got the Proven Winner Cloudburst Flax a really pretty lavender color and these flax are amazing uh, they just bloom non-stop so I don't mind putting these in my garden and then over here I only had I only found one of these this is a Georgia peach I planted some of these in my gully garden uh, a couple weeks ago but this one is much bigger and I love how big this is and it's just cool to see a more mature version of this plant. So I hope this does well in my garden. Here is the tag for that one. And I did not pay $18.98. I think I paid $3 for it. <laughs> it was like 80% off at Lowe's. And then over here, I only had one of these. So I left the tag in here. This is called Brim Cup Pasta. And then let's see. Over here, I kept the tag on that side, so um, I'll show you that when we go to the other side. But this one is one of the Shadowland series, Proven Winner, and I'm trying to collect all of the series. I, right now, I already have Empress Wu, Wu La La, Autumn Frost, We, Hudson Bay, Etched Glass, and Coast to Coast. So I think those are the other ones. And now I get to add this one. This is called. Shadowland Hope Springs Eternal. And again, I think I got this for like $4 for, I got three different ones. And then I love these. These are um, just winter gem, good old winter gem boxwoods. Uh, they keep their green color throughout the winter. I've got nine of them and I got these for $3 a piece at Home Depot. Uh, so there's a tag for that. Just, I love these boxwoods so much. You just can't go wrong with a winter gem or a uh, green velvet in my opinion and then we'll go over on the other side where I kept this tag um, let's see what were these pasta bedazzled so oh yeah I got these at Lowe's these are pasta bedazzled and I just thought they were just the cutest little shaped flower and I looked them up on the Google and they were kind of more of a smaller flower. They reminded me kind of of my wrinkle in time pasta, which I love. I also have to collect my <laughs> leftover vegetables and then I got a nice little pile of rocks I can work with next year and then some really cool wood I can work with as well. But yeah, I'm starting to love this little area. Um, especially after my brother built me that trellis. I just think it's so neat and I'm really excited to kind of um, redo this whole area once we get our deck finished over here. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that um, you just enjoyed that, watching me get my plants in the ground ready for next spring. Like I said, it's a really cost efficient way to um, plant your gardens and um, if you just be patient and wait until you can hit up the sales at the end of the season. I know some of you don't live in areas where you have sales like that, 
Um, so I apologize and I feel for you. I wish I could uh, share my plants with you. Um, but if you do live in areas like that, this is just a really fun way to um, just, you know, come next spring, you already have all these amazing plants at your disposal to work with uh, in your gardens. So anyway, I think what I'll probably do is get a few bags of mulch and I will um, spread that on here pretty thick just to give it some extra protection over the winter. The deer in my area usually eat, eat the heuchera up pretty good, so I'll have to keep an eye on those and I might cover those up during the winter just to keep them safe. They ate all my heuchera last year and they all came back fine, but um, I don't know, I just, it's like, gives me a peace of mind if I'm gonna cover it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, bye.